Displacement maps are PSD files. They can be used to great effect in Photoshop. They can also be used in other applications as well, like uh, PaintShop Pro. Now, PC or Mac, they can be used on as well. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the glass filter. So, filter, then distort, glass. Now, the glass one comes up with a filters dialog, a filter display. So, you can actually, if you want to, of course, you can go and select one of the other ones at this point. But, actually, I'm going to select the glass. And you've got distortion, so you can change the distortion intensity, as well as the smoothness. So, you can actually see more of the actual distortion there, as well as the scaling. So I can resize that. You can invert scaling, direction off. Now, I've got some just load texture. You can go over to this little side here, menu. Select a texture here. These are graphicextra.com letter designs, but you can use any other PSD file you can find on the web or ones you create yourself. Click open. Now, set the scale in the game. Let's make it a bit clearer because it depends on the size of the uh, PSD file. Smoothness, you can actually create subtle sort of, uh, distortion, change the distortion, make it more extreme. Just going to select another one, low texture. Now maybe just quickly shop, displacements, add tube design. Select one of these and you can create far more unusual intense effect. Again, you can change the smoothing to make it more sharper. Right, so that's a basic thing. One thing also, one good thing about the uh, the filter dialog here is that you can actually add a new effect layer. So you can create multiple distortions. You just add another one and then go to that and change the, uh, the texture for that. So you can maybe add a different texture. And again, you can change the smoothness or the distortion and you can create many different subtle effects. Click OK. Straight away, that's uh, using the glass filter.